Ooh, new space, baby. Let's get talking about it right about now. Three, two, one, go. Murphy, this is Metagame Minute, but we're in a different room, man. Could you tell? Could you notice? We are here in the Ventura uh, yet to be unnamed studio, and it's only like half set up. So what I want to talk about is gaming spaces today. What do you need in a gaming space? Do you have a space that's dedicated for gaming? First of all, if you do, what makes it your space? What are things that you like to have in there that makes it feel like a really awesome area that's conducive to great board game experiences? Um, if you don't have a dedicated space, what do you like to do to kind of create your uh, area to play? We have some friends who have a coffee table and they built um, kind of like a little cushy a red felted mat that goes on top of it, which gives it a little bit more width. And we play uh, games on there from the couch uh, when we're over there. So that's kind of their own created space. What we've done for us in our studio here, the main thing that we need is space in our space. Uh, and so one way that we have helped create that, if you look right here, you can see that there's these little things. This is actually a closet, which we pop the doors off of and we put our shelves, they fit perfectly into our closet. So all of our shelves, we have a wall here and a wall right there of games, don't actually take up any space from the kind of walk around footprint of the room. We need space in our space to be able to move around and operate. So that's something that we've done for our space. Uh, other things we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of get some comfort stuff in here. We have over there a TV mounted on the wall, which will help us during our live streams. You can check out twitch.tv slash brothers Murph every Tuesday and Thursday and also on Gen Con on Mondays uh, and help us to see what people are saying in the chat and stuff. So we need uh, versatility, flexibility in this area because we're gonna be having stuff going on this wall, stuff going on the wall back there, stuff going on the wall right here, stuff going on on the wall over there. So we need to have it able to be able to move our whole rig around. Uh, and the best way to do that is to not have a bunch of stuff taking up square footage of the room itself. Uh, now I know that the way we work our gaming area is not what most people need in there. So again, what I wanna know is for you, what do you, what do you uh, need in your gaming area? Do you need it to be close to the bathroom? Do you need to be close to the kitchen? Do you need to have uh, temperature control and climate, is that the most important thing? Do you want to be really fun and have music? Do you want to be really quiet so that everything is kind of muted uh, sound-wise? What do you need in a gaming space? What makes a gaming space really appealing for you to spend time and play games in? Because hopefully you're spending a lot of time in whatever space you concoct for yourself uh, and play lots and lots of board games. So that's all I got for you this week, everybody. Once again, we are in the new studio. Bear with us as we get it set up. We're going to be kind of talking about uh, the things that we're doing to set up the new space and kind of giving you a peek behind the curtain or a peek behind the ripped off uh, closet doors here um, into that whole process. So come along with us for that. If you're new to us, I'm Mike of the Brothers Murph uh, and welcome to the new studio. Uh, and just remember guys, whether or not you have a dedicated room that you can close off and no one goes in there unless they know the secret pass go to play your games or if you're just playing games on the floor because you haven't fully moved in yet and that's all you got the more meta the more better hello i want to let you know that we have a patreon and that you should check it out there will be a button some somewhere around here probably that you can click to help out the brothers murph click the patreon do it I also got to let you know that we're sponsored by Restoration Games and by Game Toppers. Go to GameToppersLLC.com to upgrade your game and experience. Look at that label. It's beautiful. Oh, do it. Do it right now. I hate you. I'm sorry. I love you. Bye.